In Creo Parametric 11, there are a couple new options and preferences for sketching. Let's take a look at them. Here I have a part model and I want to create a sketch for a cut. Let me hit the sketch button and I will pick the surface that I want to sketch on. I will change my uh, orientation reference plane. Let me hit my sketch button. And a lot of times you have a shape that you want to reuse over and over again. So you might save a .sec file and import it, or you could put one of your .sec files in your palette. Let me go to one of my sketches that I want to reuse. And I'll double click to select it and then drop it here on the surface. And you will notice that it automatically scales my sketch. In this case, it gave it a scale of about 1.7. Well, a lot of times you don't want your imported sketch to automatically scale. For example, this might be for a vent for a common sized fan, or I might already have the tooling like a laser or different stamps. So I want it to come in as a scale of one. Well, in Creo Parametric 10 and earlier, you could not turn off the auto scaling in Creo Parametric 11, you can. Let me cancel out of importing the sketch. Let me cancel out of sketch mode. And now I will go to my file menu and then options and options. And if I go to the sketcher category, down at the bottom, we have a new option here and it is auto scale imported geometry. By default, it is turned on. If I move my mouse over the option, then it will show me the tooltip, and I can see that there is a corresponding config.pro option, Sketcher Import Auto Scale. Well, let me turn off that option, and then click the OK button, and I'm not gonna save this in my config.pro file at this time. Later on, I'll show you how to change it. So now when I go to my sketch command, and then pick my sketch plane and then change my orientation reference. I'll hit the middle mouse button to get into Sketcher. Now I will go to my palette. Let me scroll down to the sketch that I want to use and then I'll drop it in where I want. You can see that the scale is one both in the graphics area and in the dashboard. Let me hit the check mark in order to complete it. Let me close out of here and I can change any dimensions that I want. Maybe I want to change this to a value of eight. Let's change this to a value of six. And then I will use my right mouse button to get to the check mark. So there I have my sketch. Then I can extrude my cut. I'll use my right mouse button to make this a through all cut. And then hit the middle mouse button. So there I have my sketch that was brought in as at a scale of one used to create my cut. Another option that you have, if I go to file options and options and go to my sketcher category, up here at the top, there is an object display setting to show the locks. Previously in Creo 10 and earlier, there are five choices in here. Well, now you have a sixth choice and that is to show the locks. You can see that there is a corresponding config.pro option, Sketcher Display Locks. If you wanna set these in your config.pro file, well, one way you can do that is by going to the Configuration Editor category. Let's use the Find button. And that first option, well, I will type in Auto Scale and hit the Enter key. And here is Sketcher Import Auto Scale. So like before in Creo 10 and earlier, auto scaling was turned on. You can set that to no in order to turn it off in Creo Parametric 11. Let me add change that. And the other option, well, I can type in the keyword locks. And here is Sketcher Display Locks. By default, it doesn't display the locks. If you are a person who likes seeing the locks, you can change that option to yes and then add change. Let me close the find option dialog box and then export my config.pro options and then click the OK button. So there you have it. Those are your two new options for sketching in Creo Parametric 11.